Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Straw Hat Ninja eighty nine here uh, with Little Miss Ryder. Hello. <laughs> yeah. This <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh wait, I'll have all strike there for a second. Anyways, um, basically we already talked about the Amazing Spider Man like a couple of, like videos way back before, but now there's um, possibilities going around for a sequel you know, that they're planning to make because technically they think that this film is going to be like a huge blockbuster success like, you know, like some of the newer Batman films, like the, the way they are now, especially how dark they've gotten over the past, like, couple of years or so. Um, so technically in this sequel, um, we're just basically talking about what they really should have like, basically on part of the origins from the comic book, like, mm -hmm. as it goes on. So, um, you said that, uh, the, um, Harry Osborn is going to be in the second one. Yeah, yeah. And Norman Osborn, Mary Jane Watson, J. Dune Jameson. They're going to be in the sequel. Yeah, because I know it takes place more further. I I, yeah, in the first Amazing Spider-Man movie that's happening now, it's taking place up to Lizard Man. Yeah. Like, uh, Peter Parker's in high school. This is mostly his origin at the beginning. Yeah, yeah this is based on the other one. Not like the other movie that where it's like, you know, all... You know how the way they started out to be or whatnot. Too fast, too. Yeah, yeah, they did everything way too fast. Like in under twenty minutes already, he becomes Spider Man. It's like weird. Like really I know it doesn't happen overnight. It's like I know it's like weird. It's uh, like he just gets bit by the spider, and all of a sudden, oh my god, I'm, I'm feeling this sensation all over me. It's like, yeah, it's weird. It's like okay, already, but you should take more time to develop. You know, like you know, get more into Peter Parker as a character. You know, mm -hmm. instead of just basically just randomly getting bit by the, in, in the museum and then bam I'm Spider-Man that, <laughs> that was just like that just rushed right there I was like what the hell <laughs> so like in this one they're basically doing it the right way and they're pacing it more to give Peter Parker more backstory and whatnot mm -hmm. from the original Amazing Spider-Man comic books um I am looking forward to see what they're gonna do uh you know who's gonna play the Lizard Man by the way um this guy named I can't say his name I think it's Ryan's Evans or something. He's um the movie I know he he played Luna Lovegood's dad in Harry Potter. Oh yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, only yeah, guy. Yeah. He's he's the one. He's uh, yeah, he played Luna Lo Yeah, yeah that. Yeah. So that's the only movie I know he's mm. in. All right, I only seen him once in the Harry Potter film, so I guess we'll see what he can do. I guess because. I, that's the only work I know him for. Maybe he's in other stuff too. Yeah, maybe like independent movies. Yeah, or because he is a British actor. So yeah. I don't know what else he basically does, but you know we'll, we'll see how it goes. I, I guess it's a right choice, maybe. Mm -hmm. it, it seems like a right choice. I mean, I guess they're they're doing it the like they're going with the right direction here. I mean, it, it seems like if it's their permanent choice, then we'll see how it goes. Cause I know like you gotta give him a chance. We were like. If he's only in Harry Potter, well, why the hell would you have him? This is gonna suck. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. You never know. Yeah. You only seen him in one role. It's not like he's done like other movies that were like bad or terrible. How do you know that? Have yeah, you it could have been like independent movies or yeah, movies. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. In, in, in England, there were probably might have been big hits with that actor. So you mm -hmm. never know what he can do here in the U.S. with Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. So. Um. Now, now in the sequel, basically. Um, do you now? Here's the, the thing. Do you want the original actor that played uh, the Green Goblin from the beginning? Willem, Willem Dafoe. Yeah. You know, I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, this I really doubt it too. Yeah. Willem Dafoe was first of all like in the you know when the co the original costume for the Green Goblin was was um like the original with yeah, the yeah. scary looking one, but yeah, he didn't yeah. want to wear it because it was too I don't know what. Maybe because he was freaked out by it. Maybe yeah. It's, Maybe it's like another heat ledger all over. Yeah, and know. um, and that's why they go for the reject Power Rangers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like, that's sure, what you're right. Yeah, I agree with you on that actually. That's what happened to the nostalgia critic. He he was like, you know, he was over the top. He you know? was over the top. He was, and then like he's basically, I guess he doesn't really know how to do the Green Goblin that much, or he's never read the comics. Maybe he's new to it. I'm not sure. Yeah. But technically, he's just like, they're chilling out with Spider-Man, just talking yeah, to him. Yeah, like, yo, like, Spider-Man, okay. rat with me. Yeah, it's like, it's like <laughs> random. It's like, okay. <laughs> I mean, for a villain like that, he should just be talking to him about serious business, not be like, yo, rat with me, Spider-Man, what's up, dude? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh, like, Jesus. God's name, like, uh, huh? Um, you know, they're going to have to go with someone that, you know, I think, yeah, they're going to have That's more experience and more like, well, okay, he Ledger's dead, so we can't use him. I mean, no. that would have been sort of a good choice. 
He did really well as the Joker. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it wasn't the Joker, Joker that we know, but it, it was it was good. I, I liked it, but still. It was more like true. It was like true to the comic books, like his yeah. origin. Yeah, it was. I mean, too bad that if he weren't dead, I was gonna say maybe he would have done a great job in the next sequel, but I'm not sure who would actually turn out to be in this one. Um, Bane's gonna be in the Dark Knight Rises. He's gonna be the villain. Oh. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I and read info. Catwoman, and Hathaway. I, I was a skeptical Anne Hathaway was going to be playing Catwoman. It was like... Yeah. But you know what? The same thing with Heat Ledger. People thought Heat Ledger wasn't going to be good of a Joker because, you know, he was in a Knight's Tale. Yeah, he was, he was, yeah. And turns out we were wrong. He did an awesome job. As wasn't he in Brokeback Mountain? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I, oh, yeah, he was in oh Jesus. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah. Forget that. This is, oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I should have won an Oscar. Like, what? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. two gay cowboys have <laughs> <laughs> Oh Jesus! Well, that's that's like off topic. We're talking Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, it's like, <laughs> anyways. Uh, yeah. Um. um yeah. No. Yeah. I don't think nor. I don't think the Green Goblin's gonna be in the sequel though. Um. Maybe probably by the third one it'll be a transformation. Like towards the yeah, end of the. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. That would be a good climax. I think yeah. At the very end, he will do it in the second. Yeah, because Norman Osborn needs character development. We gotta get to know him. Yeah, that's the main important aspect because without that, we have to get to know him better. And in the original Spider-Man movie, we barely know a damn thing about him. Mm-hmm. It's just like that he's the son of um Harry. O- I mean the father of Harry Osborn. Sorry. Yeah, and you don't like first of all, you only mentioned his wife. Like, okay, what happened to his wife? Did she die? Were they divorced? Yeah, they never mentioned what happened to his wife. I realize that. I mean, I'm guessing maybe because we haven't seen him in the actual movie. I guess she died. I'm not sure. Yeah, well, they should have her like sort of like a flashback scene, and maybe, you know, exactly. like how was he was he ever bad to her? Was he abusive? Was there any like, you know? Yeah, because you know we we barely never even seen that. But I guess the comp because I didn't really read a lot of the Amazing Spider-Man, but maybe there was some backstory with his wife, but they never showed that yeah. in the original movie. Though. Of course, Harry and um, Norman has sort of like a the relationship was like you know not. It was very strained, like, yeah. his father wanted him to do, you know, like, you, you know, want him to accomplish stuff, and it was like, you know, he was trying to please his father, and to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, their relationship was very, you know, what is it, you know, strained, complicated, yeah. it wasn't yeah, like... Yeah. And I think it's good Harry should be in the sequel. Maybe he becomes friends with Peter, and, you know, yeah, Norman yeah. is, like, sort of like a father figure to Peter, and I think that yeah, goes... Exactly, Harry yeah. becomes jealous and everything, it's... Yeah, exactly, true. And Mary Jane, of course, is going to be in the sequel also. I mean... Sure, yeah, yeah. And, first of all, did you ever notice that her parent in the uh, previous Spider-Man movies, you don't see her parents at all? Yeah, yeah. You notice that? Yeah, I know. You hear them but screaming. I hear them, but I never see them, though. Like, that, that's really ridiculous. It might show them in the... I think they might show them Yeah, because, um... Because in the comic books, actually, um... Mary Jane actually lived with her Aunt Anna... Oh, she man. grew up. She yeah, grew up because her yeah. father was very abusive. She had, she had an abusive childhood. Yeah, so then instead of the parents in this one, they should just make it like she lives with her aunt. Then. Yeah, and that's why she raised, was raised by her aunt. Maybe her parent. maybe, I don't know if they got divorced, or maybe he went to rehab and her mother. And she had yeah. an older sister who got married young. And, you know, that could be a good, because her backstory is pretty, well, not, say it's like the be- it's good, but, like, you could, like, kind of feel yeah. sorry for her. Like, yeah, yeah. Because she's yeah. the party girl, but, like, there's another side to her and yeah, Peter's that, trying to like find true. out that is true yeah but first of all I think their relationship be like platonic first without you know platonic as in friendship they should be like <laughs> yeah, friends yeah. instead of just going like romantically yeah 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 you know and then that is true in a way you are right cause their that. friendship was platonic f- first before it was like love and everything cause yeah, Gwen yeah. was involved at the time with Peter it wasn't you yeah. know, they shouldn't be like a love triangle thing. At least, mm-hmm. you know, not yet anyway, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. J. Jonah Jameson, that's another one. Yeah, well, how many minutes have we used? Uh, nine, nine minutes. Okay, oh yeah, that's right, it's not, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, wait, your account can do, well, I don't know if you set it up yet, because I forgot you don't have internet yet. Yeah, well, it's going to be on soon, so. Yeah, you can set it up to, like, uh, if you give the phone number, blah, 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 to give you the code, then you get free time limit, whatever, but since you still have 15 minutes, alright, so we're still good, yeah. so. Yeah, worst of all, everyone wants J, uh, J.K. Simmons as J. Jonah Jameson. 
Oh, but he yeah. but he was in the previous Spider-Man films. Why why would you want the same actor who was in first? Yeah, that obviously doesn't make any sense like at all. So. But first of all, I'm I'm gonna say he. I think he did a great job as J. Jonah Jameson. I think so too. But this yeah. reboot, this is a reboot. This isn't like you know they're not. This isn't gonna be. This isn't gonna be the same old same old. Yeah, exactly. Don't you want yeah. something new? Don't you? You know. Yeah, we do. Yeah. And also, um, yeah. So we need a serious J. Jonah Jameson. Like. Yeah, true. We do. And first of all, I'm 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 not nitpicking on certain things, but. Yeah. Jay, they shouldn't have Flash. First of all, in the comic books, Flash Thompson never dated Mary Jane. No. It was Liz Allen. So why? First of all, why would why would Mary Jane be involved with an an asshole like Flash Thompson? Exactly. <laughs> that is so true. She's her. She was like you know, cause she doesn't really. She would never date a guy like that. Yeah, yeah, true. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I know. So, you know. Hey, what else? Um, yeah. First of all, people say they want um Venom to be in the sequel. Um. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm hearing they're they're, they're doing a Venom spinoff. Oh, uh, yeah. oh, really? Yeah. First of all, Eddie Brock should appear, but not really as Venom yet. Maybe when the transformation and he runs and stuff. Oh, okay, and, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it has to be based on Spider-Man. Yeah, you yeah. know, it can't just be like. Yeah, yeah I see. What you yeah, so everyone's speculating this reboot. You know, people are speculating this reboot's not going to be good, so why they're playing a sequel. I mean, the that it's is having, true, yeah. But I guess they're confident this movie's going to be really like a blockbuster hit and stuff. Yeah. You know, ever since the Batman Dark Knight, it, you know. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Yeah. What else? Um, hmm. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Oh, man, I forget all the time. <laughs> Um, yeah, oh yeah, I forgot, um, Kirsten Dunst and Tobey Maguire want a cameo in the movie. Oh, really? Wow. I'm like, okay, so you want the, yeah, yeah. Well, the old uh, Spider-Man and Mary Jane to be a cameo. That, that makes no sense, though, because all of a sudden you want them to be in the movie after you just deny them? Like, yeah, like, it's like they didn't really was, it's like, they. I think they were not really passionate in playing, you know, the characters. Yeah. You have to be passionate to play, you know, those characters. Yeah, it's you, not you, like, you, really you know, do. oh, I don't want to do it anymore. Like, you know, like, yeah, is exactly. it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, and all of a sudden they want to be in the camera. I don't think that's going to happen. No, I doubt it. No, because Sony doesn't, this is a whole new thing. They don't want something old coming, you know. Yeah, in coming some to it. Exactly, yeah. There's no way they're going to do that. Yeah. Also, what I'm hearing, this was back, like, with uh, Wikipedia, that uh, Kingpin was rumored to be the main villain for the sequel because he, he basically he's actually the villain of Spider-Man but yeah he is yeah but the thing is he, I don't know if he's still like with uh, 20th Century Fox because you know he was in Daredevil oh. so I'm like how could I'm just saying that would be probably be good if Kingpin was in the Spider-Man movie rather than Daredevil yeah true you're right yeah I mean I don't know if they they're gonna have the character suddenly switched with Sony or I don't know maybe I don't know I don't know it, it's gonna that be weird, but we'll see how. Like, yeah, first of all, Kingpin's a white guy, very fat white guy, yeah. and yeah, and you know, look like as if he hasn't really worked out at all. Yeah, I know, no, probably eating some Jane Danishes all. Yeah, time. <laughs> and he's fat, like he just like the, <laughs> the angry black. Guy. Yes. Well, except the angry black guy, it's funny. Yeah. Yeah. And um, what else? Yeah, I mean, like the previous Spider-Man movies. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I forgot to say this. Um, James J- J- James uh James Cameron. This was back in the '80s that he was originally planning on doing a Spider-Man movie. Yeah. But back in the '90s, like there was supposed to be a plan for a Spider-Man movie. Guess who we wanted to play uh as Peter Parker? Who? Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh wow. <laughs> I'm like, what? Yeah. First of all, Leonardo DiCaprio. I can't see him playing that character. Yeah, I can't see him either. He could play a good Harry Osborn, but not, but not Spider Man. I guess maybe because ever since Titanic, he was the. Yeah, maybe. That's just um. Well, thank God, because he was gonna change a lot of stuff around, like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's a very independent actor. Well, we'll just wrap this up because yeah. it's about 14 minutes now. All right, so uh, yeah, thank you guys for listening to us on this uh, behalf and. Uh, Hopefully we just can't wait for The Amazing Spider-Man itself to come out later in the summer of 2012. So, Sir Hi Ninja 89 and Little Miss Rider, we're signing out, guys.